Hi there, this is Tyler with Mango Voice. We're gonna go over how to set up your phones, plug them into the internet, make sure everything's ready to go. That way, when you are ready to schedule your onboarding process, we are ready to get everything ready for you. So the first thing I wanna show you here is everything that comes out of the box. Um, we have the phone, the stand, the receiver, the cable for the receiver, our power cable, the ethernet cable, and we have an instructional card right here for you, as well as a mouse pad with some pretty useful information. Um, before we get into this phone though, I would like to go over the cordless phone real quick. Now the cordless phone is also going to have quite a few pieces in there, including the phone itself and its charging station, as well as the power cord for that charging station. And then we're going to have the base. Now this is what we call a base, it's kind of like a little router for your phone. This will also come with its own power cable, so there's going to be two power cables in this box as well as an ethernet cable. Now this is the part that matters for that cordless phone because this is how you're gonna get that signal. So there's a little ethernet port right here. You're gonna to want to take your ethernet cable, plug it from your router or your wall, and plug that into your base. Now your base will begin lighting up. It's got one light here. There's three lights. All three lights should be solid green. And there's also a Wi-Fi button on here, but you won't need that unless you're connecting more cordless phones. The ones that we sent with the device should be connected already. And that's all there is to setting up the cordless phones. Really easy, plug this in and your phones will begin working as soon as they're powered on. Now for the desk phone. So with the desk phone, we're gonna go ahead and assemble it. We're gonna grab our phone and we're gonna slide in the stand. And you're gonna come off to the left a little bit here and then you're just gonna slide it in. Put in those holes and slide and then it's gonna stand, perfect. Then we have our receiver. We're going to take our receiver's cable here and we're going to take the, the shorter side and we're going to plug it into the phone. We want the longer side to go around the phone. That's why we like the longer side there. So we're going to flip this guy up and we're going to find the two ports. One has a headset image next to it. That's for headsets, so you don't want to plug it in there. Then you're going to see one with a phone symbol next to it. It looks like a receiver. You're going to plug it in there. And then that long comes around making it so that it goes all the way around that phone. Next, you are going to want to get your power cable. Now, there is a thing as power over ethernet. So with power over ethernet, you only need an ethernet cable. You won't actually need the power. But if you don't have any power over ether, you'll need the power cable. Now for the power cable, you just plug in the round side into the back of the phone, right here. There's only one port for it to go into. You just slide it in and then plug it in. Now, as soon as you plug it in, the light up top here is gonna come on. And the screen is gonna start saying, welcome, initializing, please wait. At that point, you'll get an ethernet cable from your router or wall. And you're going to plug it into the back of the phone where there's two ports. One says PC, one says internet. Since this is coming from the router or wall, you wanna plug that into internet so you can get internet to the device. If you have power over ether and you don't have the power cable plugged in, at this point it'll begin saying, welcome initializing, please wait again. And this is what the screen's gonna look like once it's powered on. Now, if you only have one ethernet cable and you can't get a second, there is a secondary option. You can get an ethernet cable directly from your computer So the internet is coming directly from your, from your wall or router into your computer. In this scenario, all you have to do is unplug the internet from your computer, plug it into the back of the phone where it says internet, and of course since we have power over either here, we're starting to power on, you can see the little red light, we'll say welcome, please initial, uh, initializing, please wait. Then you're going to take the second Ethernet cable that we've provided. And you're going to plug that into the port that says PC. And from there, you're going to run that cable into your computer where you removed the former Ethernet cable from. Then the Internet will come into the phone from the wall or router into your computer. So they're sharing that Internet connection. 
will get them boot up, say obtaining IP address, and at that point you will be ready for your onboarding. Now we did include some other stuff in the box as well. The mouse pad of course has some useful information on there that you'll probably want after your onboarding is complete. Keep that around. Then this card. We also have some information on this card for you, one of which shows a little image on how to set up the phone of what we just went over. In the back of the card, as you follow these instructions here, the bottom, of course, is scheduling your onboarding. You'll go to the website listed, schedule that onboarding, and that's when your phones will go live after that meeting. And the final bit of information I want to go over with you today is the box itself that it comes in. There's going to be a sticker right here on the bottom left of the box. The sticker is going to say the name of the extension so, you're, so you know where that phone is going to go. And it's also going to give you the extension number so you'll have that list available. That's everything I wanted to go over today. Thank you for joining me and take a moment if you can to subscribe to our channel.